Welcome to this video about the standard model. Let's have a look what we're going to learn about the fundamental particles called fermions that are broken down into quarks and leptons and bosons, the names of the 12 fermions, the up and down quarks that make up protons and neutrons are the things that make up matter in our universe, the 12 fundamental particles of the standard model, what is meant by the words hadron, baryon and meson, and about the beta decay and the neutrino. The big challenge within this topic is there is lots of language that is new and has no uh, reference to you in the normal world of conversation. So you can see from this page alone that we have fermions, quarks, leptons, bosons, up and down in terms of quarks, fundamental particles, hadrons, baryons, mesons, neutrino. So we've got a lot of new words here and that's the biggest challenge for you. Let's start with the fermions. So fundamental particles, as physicists describe them, can't be broken down into any smaller subparticles. So we used to think this was true for the atom, but then we found that atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And now we found that some of those can be broken down into smaller particles themselves. And these, all these particles that make up those are called fermions. The standard model, physics has 12 fundamental particles. They're called fermions after the scientist Fermi. And there are six quarks and there are six leptons. The fermions themselves have three different generations. The first one is consists of an electron and a neutrino and up and down quarks. These make up all the normal matter in our universe. The second and the third generations are only found in high energy collisions that happen either in particle accelerators or in the naturally occurring cosmic rays. They're the particles from space that then collide with each other and create many of these particles. So if we put those into a table, we can see on the left there, we've got the first generation. So this is everything that is stable within the universe is made up of up and down quarks, an electron that we're familiar with, or an electron neutrino. Okay, in the brackets there is the amount of charge that each of these things have. And you'll see that the top row have two thirds the down, the second row, have minus a third. The electron has a charge of minus one. And the neutrino are neutral and have no charge. This isn't the amount of coulombs. This is in the amount of the fundamental unit of charge. So 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs for an electron. But for simplicity, we say that is minus one. And the up and the down are two thirds and minus a third. Then we have the second generation, charm, strange, muon, and the muon neutrino, and the third generation, top, bottom, tau, and tau neutrino. So all leptons, like the electron that we've heard of, are negatively charged, and most of them were discovered in cosmic rays. The muon and the tau have shorter lifetimes and much greater masses than the electron. Then we have things called hadrons. So hadrons are all particles that are made up of quarks. There are two different types. There are baryons, which are three quarks, and there are mesons, which are two quarks one which is a quark and one which is an anti-quark. So matter and antimatter. Baryons are made up of either three quarks that are all matter or three quarks that are all antimatter. 
So let's look at a particular baryon. So let's have a look at baryons. So baryons are hadrons and the most well-known ones for you will be the proton and the neutrons. And they are made up of three quarks. So a proton is two up and one down quark. And if we look at that in terms of the charge, the up quarks have two thirds of a charge. So that makes four thirds. And the down quark has minus one third. So if we add those up together, we get a total charge of plus one. The neutron is made up of one up and two downs, and that gives it a total charge of zero. Mesons have two quarks, and they're always a quark and an anti-quark pair. They can be the same types, but they can be different types. We represent the anti-matter by putting the line above it. So the U with a line on top is the anti-up. That's not the same as a down quark. Let's have a look at beta decay. So we know that beta decay is a fast moving electron. And we also know that beta decay is not the release of an electron from the orbit of an atom, but is actually emitted from the nucleus. So if we think about that, we know the nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. How are they changing into an electron? And that's where quantum physics can explain what is happening there. And there are two types of beta decay that we can get. We can get the fast moving electron or we can get a fast moving anti electron, which we also call a positron. The positron or the anti electron is the only common antimatter material in terms of its naming. It's not common because when matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate and give off energy. And that's used for things like uh, PET scanners in hospitals, more of which we will explain at a later time. So beta particles were emitted with a range of different kinetic energies. So they had different speeds and the variation in the kinetic energy was could only be explained by some other particle coming out with some other energy and that was then discovered to be something called the neutrino. The neutrino means little one. It has no charge, very small mass, and only interacts via something called the weak force. There are lots and lots and lots of them in the universe uh, left over from the Big Bang, but they don't do very much, so they're really, really difficult to detect. So here's a summary of some of what we've talked about. So the standard model, there are the fermions in the middle there. And those fermions are either quarks or they're leptons. There are different kinds of quarks, six, plus their anti-quarks. Up, down, top, bottom, charm, and strange. Quarks have to join together. They're not found by themselves. And if three join together, it makes a baryon and if two join together it makes a meson baryons are three matter or antimatter quarks all three the same mesons are one quark and an antiquark or one matter and an antimatter part so ignoring the bit in the middle for the moment on the other side we've got the leptons so we've got the electron which goes with the up and the down and the electron neutrino. They're the things that make up our universe, but we've also got the muon and the tau and those neutrinos as well. So we have six quarks, six leptons, 12 fermions, 12 fundamental particles within the standard model. 
Leptons are loners, they're by themselves. Quarks come together, two to make a meson, three to make a baryon. Also not shown there is that hadrons are baryons and mesons, both together. Okay, and in the middle, we've got bosons, which give rise to the forces. And more on that in the next video.